This podcast <coughs> contains excessive swearing <coughs> oh, and foul language. <coughs> it's therefore not suitable <coughs> oh, to be listened to <coughs> by small children or at work. <coughs> oh, you've been warned. <coughs> oh, fuck. Knock, knock. Who's there? Eat Mop. Eat Mop who? Oh, uh, Gav. Ah! That's oh. gross. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy can't. I'll do it. <laughs> Asked me to, yeah. All well, right, you did. You asked me to. Yeah, so that means you have to. You don't have to. Yeah, because you, you asked me to. You're a peer pressure type person. It's true. Anyway, so this is pod deficiency episode twelve. Twelve. It is Dave Arts's number. Fucking, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Done yeah. twelve episodes. Yeah, that's. Oh, have we? Mm. Is this the 12th one? Or is there maybe a bonus pod that we did last week? Oh, that would make it a baker's dozen. Put it? Yeah. Sweet. Can't baker's count. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's always left over day. <laughs> yeah, so is it 12? Well, Ed sips on his coffee there. There's <laughs> Ripper on the, on the 11th podcast. We're bragging about, yeah, we're fucking 11 in a row. Yeah, fucking hell. Haven't missed a fortnight because we do it every two weeks. Like, fucking, yeah, we're the best. Yeah, well, yeah. Then what happened? Then we didn't do one. Then we didn't do one for a month. Yeah. But <laughs> that's... That it's is. Good. Come back refreshed. Yeah, that's it. You, you don't fucking follow a schedule. It's too much pressure. You just fucking roll with it, you know? That's GD styles. That's our motto. Or one of many mottos. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's one of... What's another one? I don't know, but... Can't I'll t- play the box. Yeah, you can't... Bargain. Bargain. That's a big motto of ours, because we're always bargain hunting, <laughs> aren't we? Bargain and muffin hunting. So you don't have the internet anymore, Gav? <sighs> nah, not at the moment. What happened? Not until I have to <laughs> find the password <laughs> out. If anybody knows the password at Jack's time... Don't tell me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's because I told you not to use it too much. But you fucking, once you were on there, well, it's, you fucking smashed it, didn't you? Man, I was living the life. Think about it. Mm. How many of you cunts? I know you're not fucking rolling it this way. No. Rolling Foxtel, yep. right, with the movie channels. Poor. Right, just because the NBA's not on at the moment. <clears throat> so Foxtel rolling the fucking movie channels, man. <laughs> And that's got the plus two channels, which the same movies are on two hours later. Like everything else on Fox. Yeah, right? not that it's not on enough as it is. It's on the same channel fucking two hours later anyway. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, so I was living it up. I had that plus. I had the access to the internet, the Wi-Fi internet Fuck. from down the road, across the road, right? Bridge can't. Fuck. Living it. Now, <clears throat> how many of you are rolling like that and don't fucking send us... Um, shit on Facebook saying that you're doing it because I know you're not. Yeah, we can tell by yeah. your profile picture if you're Fuck yeah. rich enough to have Foxtel and, and steal an internet. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, yeah, I was fucking rolling with it. You <laughs> you were taking advantage. You were sitting back using the net whilst watching Foxtel, <laughs> were you not? I might have indulged. You did indulge. You indulged well. But anyway, so yeah. So I used it here and there and did shit. Here and there. You had it on fucking constantly downloading Not whilst I was at work. But anyway. (laughs) So yeah, anyway, what happened was one night I'm lying here on the couch. It's fucking cold night, chilling. And I thought, hang on a minute. This fucking hard drive reader thingy I've got, that's Wi-Fi. Hook it up to the internet there. I was fucking rolling it. Fucking I had... Uh, and it, and this hard drive reader too, which is really good. So I connected to the internet and I went to YouTube because it's one of the apps on there. Mm. Man, I went to fucking true crime docos as I do. 
fucking hell, it was so rad, man. It'd just play an episode and then just go to another episode to another and just constantly play it. So I was enjoying. Would you call, You'd call that enjoyment, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's good. luxury there. It doesn't do that on Foxtel, does it? No, no, but I had the option of Foxtel <laughs> if I wanted as well. But I thought to myself, no, I'll, I'll, I'll have a dip at the internet tonight, you know? It's, it's free and, you know, Eddie's always talking about this internet shit all the time. Oh, how good it is. You shouldn't have Foxtel and all this sort of shit. Everything you want's on the internet. Nah, that's not true. Well, it is, but... <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, so I hooked it up to the hard drive, Rena. <laughs> watching all this shit. It was nice. I pulled out a blanket, lying on the couch, chilling back, and I'd fallen asleep, right? So I'd fucking fallen asleep, and like I said, this thing keeps constantly playing mm-hmm. over and over, like, not over and over, but the next episode, you know? Yeah. So I'd been using it for, oh, I don't know, maybe like 10 hours or something. I was watching <laughs> the internet. That's because I'd fallen asleep too, you know? Mm. And um, yeah, so I woke up in the morning and ever since there's a fucking password on the internet for that place now. <laughs> so I haven't got it until I get the password. So you gotta, you got to get someone to go get the ties done. Yeah, and say, I want me fucking yeah, internet. Yeah, you sure are. You guys got free Wi-Fi, don't you? Let's see. Mm. Let's see how passy. Yeah, it's saying I need a password to access it. And get it, if, if anybody knows, if anybody wants to do it for us. If anyone works at Jack's Ties. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't know you were going to say it. <laughs> well, that's where it is. Okay. The, the viewers deserve the truth. <laughs> this is what we're about. It's true. We'll, yeah, we'll give you the truth, man. You know what I mean? We don't fucking... We're not scared. No, we don't beat around the bush and worry about fucking shit. You know what I mean? You want to know a fucking answer, we'll tell you the answer. And we'll tell you a story. We'll tell you how the fucking thing happened, man, you know? <laughs> None of this fucking other shit. But yeah, so that's what happened. So now I'm just rolling back with the Foxtel. But I'll get this internet password. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll fucking get it. You got some scam going. You'll be able to... I'll work out something. Don't worry. I got oh. a Pez of that guy, I think. Do you? Pink Panther. The Aardvark. The Aardvark, yeah. Yeah. Always hunting the ants. <clears throat> So, yeah. in other news... Yeah, so that's what happened there. So we'll move on. And um, that's a little lesson to you all. If you're going to steal someone's fucking Wi-Fi, don't go overboard because... I you'll... told you. I know, yeah, but it was just too good. It was fucking... <laughs> it was rolling. The temptation was too strong. Yeah, just... Oh, all that stuff, it's just the click of a button of a controller, and there I was, you know? But anyway, yeah, on to what it, what's next. I could keep carrying on, but you what's could. next? Yeah. Someone move near oh, me and give me your enough. Wi-Fi code. <laughs> All right, what's next? You're doing the Facebook page now. Yeah, I am, yeah. And you so you, people. you guys already probably know that, but... But if, if you don't, I am doing it. And I've been putting up a few things here and there. And, um, yeah, if I can hit us up, you know, on the Facebook there if you want to know shit or ask questions and tell me how rad i am and shit ed is <laughs> i get lots of those comments don't we ed i don't think so well i write lots of them to us i do <laughs> yeah so we do get lots okay yeah but yeah i'm doing it fucking um even post <laughs> what are you laughing you, it's the fucking next topic man it's, it is not. yes it is you you asked told and telling everyone that i'm fucking doing the the, the, the facebook shit and now I forgot what I was going to fucking say. Yeah. Post up your shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put it on there. Put photos of your collections or if you've picked up a rad bargain that day or over the weekend and shit. Fucking put it up. We like to see that shit too, man. You know, like you're out doing the same shit as us. You're not as rad, but <laughs> you're still doing it. And um, fucking post it up. I want to check this shit out. Definitely. And um, yeah, I'll put up shit that we come across. And um, even random various other things, you know, just what I feel like saying. I'll say it, freedom of speech. You done? Um, what are we on <laughs> Facebook thing? Yeah, nah. So yeah, I'm doing the <laughs> Facebook thing, right? And um, so, yeah, Gav. Yeah. Sports games, sports video games. That's got nothing to do with Facebook. So what next, are you doing? Next topic. Well, I haven't finished yet. You have. 
I have not. Yeah, Thanks no. for the support, everyone who's recently joined and everyone who's been there for us on Facebook. Fucking Cutting all this out. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> sports games. What do you want to say about sports games? Can I talk now? Yeah. <laughs> so sports video games. Yep. A lot of people, a lot of video gamers. Yeah. Don't like them. That's true. It's almost it? like a, like a thing that you say. It's like I play video games, but it's, oh, sports games. Nah, I don't fucking play them. I play sports games. Me too. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, well, you used to, but you still do. You watch us play sports games. Yeah. Don't you? See, my thing is like, I suppose you have to be kind of into the sport, but for sure. But if people aren't into sports games, and you're right when you say that, right? Hmm. Why the fuck, man, is there so many fucking FIFA games out there? They're fucking everywhere. Every pawn shop, every fucking <coughs> op shop, when you come across games and shit, you're always guaranteed to find a couple of soccer games in there, are you not? It's because people buy them and then the next year they get rid of it because it's... Shit. But it's, the, it's like the NBA ones, you keep your ones, so you collect them. Yeah, I collect them all. I've even got... <coughs> The 2K, what is it, 12s? And it came with the three various covers. Mm. There was a Jordan one, there was a Bird, and there was a Magic one, and, and I got all three. So, there. I know um, Gundam Russ likes his FIFAs. He just got about fucking eight. Yeah, but he collects PS3 games, doesn't he? Yeah, he's trying to out-collect your enemy. He got, like, um... I saw he picked up um, South Park the other day for PS3. On Facebook, mind you... See, that's the connection we're having with Facebook there. And, um, yeah, but I wasn't ragging. I know people like soccer games, you know, which is all sweet. I'm not ragging on the soccer. It's just not my thing. The NBA, yeah, get them every year. My brother and I, we always have, man, haven't we, Ed? Yeah, since, like, the Mega Drive, yes. 96 or whatever. Yeah, we always got the NBA games every year, fucking. And it's, and it's good, but look... It's come a long way since they first, back in the day. Obviously. When, yeah, obviously. And you used to play it too, man. Yeah, I think I've mentioned it before, but I had the Lakers versus Celtics game on the PC. Mm. It was like 88, 89. I, I remember that. I fucking, yeah, played a full season on that, which is the, in the old school games, you couldn't change the time to the, for the quarters or how many games were in the playoffs and you couldn't set anything, you just had to play it. So that's 12 minute quarters yep. for 82 games yep. plus the playoffs yeah that's when is, i found out that they're best of fives and then best of sevens yeah or you would have had to have to but you beat it didn't you yeah and who knew you go i think i was a phoenix weren't you no no nah, it would have been lakers probably yeah <coughs> but yeah that you'd have to sub your players off and shit yeah too, cause uh, they yeah it's like a simulator yeah kind of game but then i remember like later in the nineties, um, I had a baseball game, mm -hmm. but I played the fucking shit out of that. I might have been playing a season on that too. Shit, they play a lot of games, man. I remember playing, like it was one weekend or something. I didn't go out and play with my friends. I just because you didn't have any. Well, it's not the just point. be honest. Look, we're telling cunts we're an honest pod here. Anyway, yeah. And I kept playing it, and even my dad was like, what are you playing this for? Why don't you play Doom or fucking play a real video game? Yeah. So even my dad was like, fucking, sports shit, fucking yeah. shoot some aliens or something. Your dad's always been playing games when we were younger. Mm. But yeah. So it's like, there's just a weird bias. Of, and it's it's like, to me, it's like, it's a video game, you know? Yeah, it is. Just play it. And that's why we play games, to enjoy it. Like, I don't enjoy first-person shooters. But they're fucking rad games, man, you know? Mm. I watch cunts play them, and they're fucking rad, but I just can't play them for shit, and I don't really like to, pl like to play them and that. But back to the NBA games and that, but yeah, fucking, we always had them and shit, and then it, you know, <clears throat> and then it got to the one stage where you could trade players, and it'd have, like, fucking um, stats and shit, league leaders on rebounds and points and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And that was like fucking rad. How rad's that shit, you know? Fucking. 
because we we could do that and it's just progressing over the years but pretty much like every three years or something the game's the same you know yeah and then but it's just different rosters isn't it that's basically what they do it's like there's a there's usually some mechanic that changes from game to game and a graphics update and and like the of course the roster changes except for the like the last FIFA like the the DS one DS yeah and a different one they all they like literally all they did was change the roster and charged full price for it <laughs> did they it was the exact same game <laughs> fucking dogs and your brother always got the Maddens and the mm. NFL games always yeah and keeps them too you know He's got heaps. Always played them back in the Mega Drive and that, remember? Mm. Used to go to the Rams back then, he used to, I remember. But yeah, no, I like it. Um, bas- um, um, sports games, man. Not soccer, but not all sports games, but definitely the basketball ones. And these days when you do the fucking... There was that Jordan one back in 2K11 and like you do all the classic Jordan games and shit. Remember that? Oh, yeah, <clears> yeah. yeah. We were just playing it the other day, weren't we? Fucking, <clears throat> and yeah, that was a fucking rad little add-on and shit. And then there was in the older ones in the early two thousands, and you'd make your own player, and you'd have to play street ball and shit, and gain rep and and all that kind of shit, playing against NBA <clears throat> players and shit. That was pretty rad. And if you didn't play it, this was on the PS two. And if you didn't play it for a few days or a week or something, the cunt stats would go down. You'd always have to play it daily. Oh, really? Yeah, to keep like. I don't know, getting fit and shit like that, whatever. Get- what about, like, boxing games? Boxing's a sport. Yeah, but we... UFC. Yeah, they're pretty good games, aren't they? We've always played boxing games, too. Mm. I remember getting that 4D boxing on the on the PC. Yeah, it's I remember that. It was one of that. 3D games. Weren't they, like, triangles? Yeah. Big, long the, triangles and shit? Yeah, because they're, they're, like, one polygon per side of the of the cube and stuff yeah so it's just big blocks and but that was like the atari box it was the yeah down view of these two fists with gloves on yeah but you had the whole guy it was in 3d but yeah that's the angle <coughs> that you watched but, it from and then you could watch the the replays and shit and like if you had and you did the weight and height of your of your boxer and it changed the size of the <laughs> of the blocks Fair income. And then what about Mike Tyson's boxing? How rad is that game? Punch out. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Tyson's <laughs> punch out. That's it. Everyone knew you knew what I was talking about. But yeah, how fucking rad's that game? But then is that like is that arcadey? It's more of an arcade game than a like a sports simulation. Or, or, but what are you doing in it? You're punching. Yeah, but what sort of sport are you playing? In boxing. Well there you go, it's a boxing game. So like the early, like NES games, the, the Tecmo Bowl, um, the Gridiron, like a lot of people love that. Yeah, and what's that boxing game you clocked on the NES that day? World oh, Champ World or Champ, something? Yeah, that took ages. Yeah, but you did it, man. And the cricket and footy. Yeah, you did. Yeah, being an Aussie, you got to do that. And a man. Uh huh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. But yeah, no. Look, we we love our fucking sports games, man. Definitely. Oh, I do. Don't don't I, Ed? Yeah. So you do too. So and look, the next and then there was a LeBron one in the last couple of um, two Ks, but then the next one, a Kevin Durant thing, you know, like side little career oh, thing yeah, you the, can do the career things. Yeah, for KD. So <clears throat> Durantula. Have you heard of the the yeah. Madden curse? Like whoever gets on the cover of Madden, something fucks up. Like they get injured or really yeah something happens i've never heard of that before that guy got caught fighting dogs and stuff yeah vic michael vic yeah yeah he got yeah and what other cunts too was it no but like yeah whoever's on it's like a an urban legend really madden curse yeah if you get on the cover of madden then your career will finish fucking hell fuck that Never heard of that before. There's always rad cunts on the front cover. <laughs> there is. But you'd want to, wouldn't you? you want the, the best rookie or the best player or whatever. Oh, yeah, you want to attract the attention. That's for sure. And, yeah, so, yeah, I like sports games. But what about, like, um, Blood Bowl and 
and stuff like the what, like NBA Jam and stuff. Yeah, NBA Jam. The little arcadey ones are ones like where it's like monsters playing football and stuff. And yeah, they're still fun, man. Aren't they? Yeah. Street ball, basketball, and that. The gridiron one was good. Street ball, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. All right. I'm gonna do the the questions from the from the Facebook. Yes, from our our lovely Facebook viewers there. Um, you the, got got your phone. Yeah. Really? Don't you know the questions? Off by heart. Yeah. No, you're gonna have to read them. Oh, oh man. Fucking me 80 client. <laughs> now, ah, oh, fuck, it was me legs. So you asked some questions earlier, and I asked them from the, like a month ago, when we were supposed to do this podcast, but we never got around to it. Yeah. So I'll do those ones, and you do the... <clears throat> the new ones. All right. Let's see if I can find it. So, <coughs> <laughs> you right? So, <coughs> <coughs> some questions. <coughs> <laughs> some questions from the Facebook page. Where? Got Rusty Wood asks, "What gaming series would you like to make a comeback?" For me, Crash Bandicoot. That's Rusty Woods Gundam Russ for everyone who doesn't know. Yeah, good old Gandhi Rusty. Series would like to make a comeback. A comeback, hey? Mmm. Let's think about this. Ah. What? I've got it. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. Love the first and second one. Rad ass fucking games, man. Clocked them various times. That's what I'd like to see come back. But that, um, there's an Activision game, wasn't it? Well, I don't know, maybe. Because they got the rights to... Well, they, they bought the rights to the Secret Wars. Mm. Or they trademarked the name. Did they? But then they never did anything with it, it doesn't look like. Well, they should. So that would have been cool. Yeah, but that's what I'd like to see come back, Rusty Wood. Well, yeah, of uh, me. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be rad. Battletoads. Yeah, Battletoads game now would be good. Make another one like they did that Double Dragon Neon. They could do a ripper. Battle, battle toads. toads bad or battle toads yeah that'd be cool wouldn't it yeah fuck yeah well that's my opinion and the honest opinion and truth there for you Gundam Russ you ready for the next one yeah or do you want to do one from the new one <coughs> <Take it> in <coughs> turns alright this is from Kate Mason I still think you discuss that dude and his violin to old school Mario well, Kate, I don't quite understand that question, do you, Edmund? No, what's a... I don't know much about Mario as, or as much as you do, but I don't know any guy with a violin. Talk of... Discuss that dude. And I don't know. Sorry, Kate, I wish I could answer that, love. Um, but I, I don't understand. Sorry. Um, in the next pod, I'll discuss it with you and at school and um, and I'll answer that question for you, love. Okay, okay. Represent all your kids. Is it my turn? And um, Stu, yeah, go. All right. Dan Leslie asks. Oh, I do, yes. In Super Mario Wii, yes. how do you get to World 4? Please help me. I can't find out how to get there. Well, Sad face. You upset there, D, by the looks of it. It's really getting... How do you get to World 4, Gav? Super Mario Wii. Well, if I remember correctly... <clears throat> I played it, did one, two, three worlds, and then it skipped me to five. I went to six, it skipped seven and took me to eight. But when I beat eight, it, I was el- able to access seven and four. Four. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, because I'm playing <laughs> through, there's eight worlds in Mario, right? Mm-hmm. So you do world one, world yeah. two, world three. And then when you beat World 3, I got taken straight to World 5. Why? I don't know. Sounds like lies. No, it's not. It's on the internet. I haven't recorded it, but I'm sure it's on there. So, I missed 4, went to 5, 6. And then after I did 6, it took me to 8 instead of 7. But there on the bottom of the screen, like on the bottom of the map, they sort of go down. So, where the 
it's the same for everybody, I don't know, but when I beat World 8, I could access those other two worlds. So, D, I think maybe that's your answer. Just play it through, and when you clock it, like I did, then if you're good enough, you know, um, which you are pretty good. You're pretty good on Donkey Kong Country on the Wii. But, um, yeah, so that's what I reckon happens, Deanne. Right, your turn. Oh, Alyssa Wyatt. Hello, Alyssa. G'day, my dad again. Who's more rad, me or you guys? You are. Oh, come on, Alyssa. Really? It's obvious. Yeah. That you are. That totally, like, you, man. Like, fuck. You mean, you're the rad of radness, I guess, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, so... She is the raddest. Yeah, so you just asked... You just wanted to hear it again, didn't you? You're fishing for compliments, you are. Yeah, that's what you're doing, so... So that's all cool. Yeah, you're heaps radder than us. You know, we're fucking rad still, but I guess you're radder. So you knew the answer, but we'll tell you because we're honest, man. <laughs> all right, next question. It must be your turn. All right. We got Simon Malloy. You know, you see, mate? <laughs> you're not allowed to make a hat. He asks, why is the PSX collector such a rad cunt? Because his sister's going to be my next wife. Does Simon Malloy's the PSX collector? Oh, is he? <laughs> oh, I see, mate. And fucking fuckface Barry Allen. Oh, God. Thought he might chime in. It says, because if you say he isn't, he'll rip your arms off and beat you with them. Well, he probably would. He's a bit of a big cunt. I doubt it. It doesn't mean he's violent. It's because he's big. No, well, that's true. He, yeah, that's true. We won't fucking go there. Nice of answering the question for us, fuckface. Yeah, like... <laughs> fucking... Fuck! Idiot. We want the fucking... Our viewers want the truth, dickhead. <laughs> None of your fucking sales <laughs> shit. Stupidy fucking... Dumb God. bogan shit. Fucking going for Geelong as well. Yeah, go watch the footy show, you fucking bogan. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, um, PSX <laughs> collector, man. Um, why, is, why is he a rad cunt? Such a rad cunt? Because he is. Yep. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it, because he is. And he sends us a, like a billion Atari games. and a, Which was much appreciated. And, yeah, on yeah. that big stack of fucking playstation game yeah there was rad games in there too man there was and yeah that was rad we loved you sending that to us send me down your sister and um and yeah jog your thingy oh shit me fucking oh no god let's see oh fuck rusty would once again thank you rusty a regular listener viewer slash rad can <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I just almost spat up my coffee then. Why? Because I laughed when I was drinking it. <laughs> I'm rolling the truth here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyway, Rusty. <laughs> what's your favourite controller of all time and which is your least favourite? Okay. Who wants to start this, Ed? I think we've answered this before. Like, we'll answer it again. Come on. The, I said my favourite's the 360. You did? and uh, Mine's the NES. What's the worst one, though? Worst, oh, may I? Go ahead, sir. Thank you. I would like to say the worst is the 64 controller. Oh, yeah, that's fucking terrible. They're always fucking up those thumbsticks, man. It's because they were built fucking... Really They weren't built to last. Nah. Built fucking badly. And they're fucking retarded, too. Yeah, they're pretty whack, aren't they? Yeah. Coming from the NES being my favourite, and then a couple of consoles later, they do the wackest. Yeah, it's like they've fucking i don't know like the xbox naming people yeah designed that shit yeah that's probably the same cunt nintendo probably fired him and said you're a fucking idiot <laughs> and xbox was like oh he'd be so good because he got fired from nintendo <laughs> they not care why the cunt got fired until you let him name a fucking console <laughs> <laughs> no but that's it but yes rusty would aka gundam russ rad cunt that's what he should change his YouTube channel to Gundam Russ Radcunt. Yeah, I'll, I'll support that. Fuck yeah. Gundam Radcunt. All right, you got another one? Oh, yeah. Fuckface Barry Allen asks, can I come over and stay? No, you can't. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> You're just like Alyssa. You just want to hear the fucking truth. Get fucked. No. <laughs> Hell no. Hell's to the motherfucker, no. Jeez, you fucking cunt. Your turn. Mine. Paul Puis. <laughs> Is that how you say it? It's short for Pennywise. That's 
Oh, 12 gauge, mate. <laughs> 12 gauge? Yeah, because we were trying to shotgun cans, me and Eccles and him one day. Yeah. And we couldn't do it, and he's, he just grabbed one and fucking shotgunned <laughs> it straight Did away. He? Yeah, so he called, oh, rad cunt. We called him 12 gauge. And this, this is a question for you, Ed. Eddie's favourite console slash game. Console slash game. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be the, necessarily, I wouldn't imagine, that game has to be from that certain console. Would it? Come on, Ed, answer that. Is Come it on. Like the the favourite. What's your favourite console? Start with that. Be the, the, the NES, it have to be. The NES, there you go. Right, I agree with you there. That's fucking pretty good answer. I'd say SNES maybe, because I love the SNES games. But anyway, that's a rad answer. What's your favourite game? Of all, all time, it's a hard one. But my favourite game on the NES is um, Gunsmoke. Yeah, you do like Gunsmoke, being a cowboy. Wait. Yeah, yeah. The old broke back mountain. Oh, fucking <laughs> yippee ki <-yay>, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait. Well, I'm out of questions, oh, thanks. Yes. That was Paul Poise. So you should have um, asked the night before, I'd give him more time. You to... don't fucking do it like that, are you shit? John Boston asked. JB. Do you guys say rad a lot more often after the listening to the podcast? definitely part of my vocabulary now is he asking us or like other people because we obviously say rad all the fucking time because it's we just say shit if it's rad we're talking about it but it's good we're influencing the youth of australia to say rad you know what is weird though is we started saying ripper on the show we didn't really say it much before we started the show but we say ripper heaps we do now because of the show yeah but we always Ripper we always laughed at and Rip Snorter. Yeah, it's like we kind of said Ripper ironically. Yeah. Like, oh, Ripper, mate. Like, Rip, Rip Snorter. But then after we started saying it on the on the episodes, like all the time, then we just started saying it, like for real. Yeah, yeah well, we, we, we are Ripper. Are we not? I am, I don't know about you. I'm more Ripper than Chase. You're a bit shit, though. Why? Because of all the stuff you say and do. Yeah, but that's just me. Being shit. And i got one last one from Wes. He asks, when is Grandpa coming to visit and why do I still wet the bed? It's a bit of deja vu from episode <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> and it's, um, I think the answer is, um, so you're a bitch, so. Oh, Ed said that, mate, not me. Hey, Wesley knows he's a little bitch. Oh, I don't know about that. That was his nickname back in the day, Wes Bitch. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Well, you are a bitch then. Oh! Uh, Ed, Ed's getting stuck in. You don't even know I'm the not, cunt, you fucking... I'm not getting stuck into fucking him. Fucking starting beef. He's no. a voiceover guy. Yeah, I'm not picking on him. Like You're that. the cunt who said he was a bitch. Oh, no, that's not why I remember it. Gonna have to listen to that one back, I think, Gav. Why? Bit of creative editing. Just it's not... Like, you he's, fucking he's said the come, cunt was a bitch. He's gonna fucking come around and snap you. Well, I hope not. Fuck. I won't answer the door. <laughs> you don't anyway, so... Only to you. You're a fucking bitch too. Oh, fair go. Oh, come on. Fair suck of the sav. Fair, fair suck of the sav and I. Fair edge. What? Fair edge. Oh, come on. Fair edge. <laughs> <Can. laughs> all right. Well, is that all the questions? That's all the questions. And, that, was, that was a good one. And you got all the fucking... You got the truth, man. You know, you didn't get any sort of fucking bullshitted around or nothing there you just got it straight up as we promised man on facebook so fucking hit us up fucking any questions we'll tell you I'll tell you how it is won't we yeah like we just did and we have done 17 i mean 11 or is it 12 previous times before this pod yeah huh that's a little <clears throat> A little bit of trivia for you. Did we say we did the bonus pod? Because we did one. Oh, you just fucking... I was but just about to, to say, I'm oh. like the Riddler man, you know? And then oh. you just fucking oh. fucked it up. Well done. Well, pretend I didn't say that. Well, Edit it out. No. Nah. You it's fucking too hard. bitch. Um, I've snapped cunts like you before. I bet you have. I'll do it to Mogs too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's time for uh, Gav's a cheapo. If you got one. No. Why not? Why am I portrayed as this fucking cheap cunt? Because you keep telling everyone you are. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> it's the truth. I am a cheap cunt. Um, fucking, I don't know. I'm just rolling still with the cheapness. 
Um, Any tips? Because the the viewers. Yeah, I know. I know. I've saved you, all you people out there, a few bucks already out there. You know, it's like people's favourite part. John Boston and fucking Gundam Russ love this shit. So. Yeah, well that, and those boys probably take my advice and have got a few extra quid in the pocket, and that's where Gundam Russ fucking gets more fucking PS3 games for the collection. A couple of squids in the skyrocket. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. Um, Here's one, mm. right? Especially this one's pretty much for the blokes, right? Out there. Now, you go and get a haircut at the hairdressers, yeah, right? The barbers. The barbers, you're a bloke, yeah. Or unless you're anime, you'll go to a hairdresser, mm. right? So, yeah, you go there. <laughs> How much are they going to charge you for a haircut? It's like 20 bucks now, something. Yeah, exactly, 20 bucks. Now, when you go there and get your haircut, do you reckon you could give yourself that haircut? Not really. Why not? Because I can't see the back of my head and stuff. Well, you always get a shit haircut anyway. So it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> the point is, okay, 20 bucks, you can go to Kmart and for nine bucks, you can buy a clipper set yourself, right? Nine bucks. Now, if you're just going to womp it over, hmm. it pays for itself. Like, you do half your head and it's already paid for itself, hasn't it? At nine bucks. Not even half your head. If you go into the hairdresser, it's 20 bucks. Yeah. So you can give yourself free haircuts, man. You know, look, hey. Do you reckon I do it? You can tell that you do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I set him up for that. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, and I fucking do it. And um, hey, it's if you're prepared to look like Gav. Mm. Then it's fucking. It's a bargain, though. It's like it's. It is. It's half the cost of a normal haircut for the first one. And yeah, and how long is it going to go for? It's already paid for itself. Yeah, and you can after just the use the first one. That's then, it. And everyone since is a bonus. After two or something. Is it not? Yeah. Exactly. And someone who should take my advice is Raname. He should get a, like a paper bag or something instead. Oh, no. Don't that's, worry about his haircut. That's decent paper bags. I like paper bags. Yeah, they're useful. Yeah. They put stuff in them. But yeah, look, that's, look, I think that's a, a cheapo way, you know, you're saving heaps, that's, think about it, you buy those clippers, do your haircut, it's paid for itself already there, mm. next time you cut your hair, that 20 bucks, you can go to Cashy's, man, and grab yourself fucking a few games. Yeah. Can't you? Bargain. That's it, it's putting fucking games on your, in your collection. That's, that's what I got this, this pod for you, anyway, so... To save your bike some money. That's it. Let us know. Do you cut your own hair and shit? Do, have you already used that advice before I very friendly pass it on to you listeners? And Raname, fuck do. <laughs> fuck. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, there we go. That's right. what I reckon on that anyway. Here's something. What? This is three words that girls don't like. Been doing some research. Retro Raname. That's two, but that's not that's not on the list. That'd be number four. <laughs> Alright. What are they? Um moist. Don't they like moist? Don't like the word moist. How do you know about all this? Because I'm clever. They do like the word moist. No. They do so. They like I don't want to be too rude here, but they they do like when being saying moist. No, they'll say wet, but they won't say moist. I'm going to test that one out tomorrow right. at work. I'm just going to say moist all the time. <laughs> and bitch. They don't like the word bitch. Yeah, not really. Not in an argument. Uh, they wouldn't. And what's the third one? Um, gav. They don't like the word gav. Oh, get fucked, they don't. It's cunt, not gav. <laughs> I know what it is. No, nah, it's gav. Well, how do you know? So if you... Was it on the internet? Yeah. When? All the time. Oh, I'll get fucked. I haven't seen it. If you use, like, you oh, know, let, you know, let you know. me. Well, just one sec. I'll, I'll tell it later, but I saw something on the internet. Yeah. Like, go. Yeah. So if you use it in a sentence like, Gav is a moist bitch, they're out. Won't say another word. Over to me. Them. What about your mum? Well, she's a moist bitch. But... <laughs> oh. Sorry, mum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do a pot. I'll just pie. <laughs> What was the what was the gross thing that you saw on the internet after you fucked up my joke? Um, I didn't mean to fuck up his <laughs> joke. It was shit anyway. It was a ripper. No, it wasn't shit. Oh yeah, I saw on there right. There was this chick, 
And a very attractive lass at that, may I say, right? Mm. And she's laying on a table, right? In a bikini. Most men enjoy that sort of thing. You know, it wasn't in a sexual way or anything. She's just lying on a thing like a model or something in a bikini lying on a fucking table there, right? Anyway, so <clears throat> so they, she's lying on there. They show her boat race, you know her face <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking you know slowly move the camera down and down you're sussing out the Sheila yeah, nice package of work whatever and it gets down to her bottom right and she's wearing a bikini and all that you think fucking rad this is a nice Sheila she fucking shits man <laughs> dead set shits this fucking runny ass shit just starts coming out her ass man <laughs> And she's still got the bikini on and shit. And it's just, oh, it was just... You don't expect to see a fucking hot chick shitting on a table. You're hoping, you're hoping that the tits come out or something, you know? And it, not fuck. And she shit, man. It was fucking disgusting. It was like the runs. It was horrible. It was like porridge. No wonder they put a fucking password on the internet. Oh, not on that side. They, I don't know what it was, fucking... Like rotten or faces of death or I don't know it was something you, it was some weird site I do go to weird sites at times but yeah she fucking she ah oh, it was disgusting man that would smell <laughs> shit usually does yeah but oh it was fucking terrible absolutely horrible but thanks for sharing Gav well I'm just telling you just be careful <laughs> out there you know you can be poor you, you God you don't expect to see that. Fucking shitting of all things. <laughs> fucking didn't even fart for first. The bitch. Bit rude. I don't know, but anyway. She's moist. God, I reckon. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Gav watched it. <laughs> Three strikes. Unfortunately, I watched it. I didn't mean to. I wouldn't have watched it if I knew she was shitting. <laughs> fucking shitting. That's fucked. But, yeah, that's what i saw so just be careful out there you can be safe with us guys you know like we yeah you do fight a lot but yeah i no, don't shit no nah, no sharting or anything <laughs> like that i won't fucking go shitting on some cunt fuck that so the psv to gav what do you reckon about that yeah, it's pretty rad you've got one of those yeah it's awesome yeah but they reckon it's not doing too good isn't it no, it's not like it's not selling that many well, there's not that many games at EB Games for PS Vitas. That's the thing. There's, there's not, hardly any. There's not many games for it. That's it. Like, you have to have games for to have a good system. But just as a piece of tech, like, it's awesome. Like, the screen's fucking ripper. It's got two thumbsticks. Yeah, no, it's a rad little fucking handheld, man. It's but fucking rad as. They did just make the... I'm pretty sure they made it, a, like, a slim version. The PS Vita Slim. Oh. And it's cheaper. Oh, really? Yeah, they need to bring out God of War on it, man. That's what they need to do. And need to bring out God of War on the PS4. A new one? Yeah. Is there any rumours? Have you heard anything about it? or No. Fuck. They should, though. That's my opinion. But the, there's another thing that, that people reckon why there's like hardly any games. Why? It's because it's too good. How can it be too good not to have games? Because to, to make a, like a AAA game on it, because the graphics are so good, you have to make it like um. It's like a, oh, damn! That was a nice tale. It's almost as good as like the PS2, or even don't like, shit. It yeah. might even be better than the PS2. What graphics? Yeah, so that's why it's so expensive to make games for it. It would be better than the PS2 graphics. It might. The heat. The graphics are fucking rad. Yeah, it's on a small screen, so it's so, hard to tell. But it still looks rad. But that's what they reckon, like. Because it's, it's so so powerful to make a, like a ripper game on it. It costs yeah. heaps of money. Yeah. And because there's not many units are sold because there, um, there isn't that many good games for it. But you stole yours anyway, didn't you? No. Yeah, you did. Stole, I got it for a bargain. That's kind of stealing. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> that is stealing. The carry on Columbus. So, the, yeah, the, it's kind of... It's like fucked itself over by not having the games and then people don't want to make games for it because it's not selling. Yeah. Because there's not that many games. What do you reckon should happen? Like, um, 
make you know like the the 3ds it's got a lot of um 2d games and stuff and yeah and shit like that make some really good ones of those yeah they're heaps cheaper or sony's gonna need to like subsidize the like the development companies so they can have enough money so it's worth their while to make a game for it or be able to connect your vita up to your ps4 yeah that's what it it does oh does it yeah so they hardly even mentioned the vita at the like the a3 so can you use your vita for instance right with Mm. your ps4 and you're using your vita like a wii u controller i'm pretty sure yeah it's that's pretty rad man that'd be awesome yeah fuck i think that's what they're doing yeah something like that and they're making the the vita like the playstation tv thing yeah so you can play vita games onto your telly oh no that's fucking rad so that'd be cool yeah fucking when i get a ps4 i'm gonna have to steal your vita and um probably here anyway there's another thing and what's that other thing edmund some people not all just some some people find it hard to play like vitas and and um ds's and shit like in public and why is that i think people are judging them or something or... oh get fucked just be original if you like something fucking do it who cares what other cunts think it's why people you see them playing their phones all yeah. the time yeah why because everyone else does yeah so it's not like there's well, like some social stigma to it but that's fucked yeah we've never had any problem with no, it no well, I was rocking a fucking a pink fucking <laughs> DS light with fucking my little pony fucking stickers all over it today on the train was I not yeah I didn't give a fucking shit who fucking cares I like playing it I didn't give a shit be original but really, is that fair to income? People won't play it because they might say, oh, look, he's or she's playing a DS. Yeah. Oh, big fucking deal. If I see someone playing it, I go fucking rad, I think, and I always try to see what game they're yeah, playing. Yeah, I never, like, bother them, but I always like, I wonder what that guy's playing. Yeah, and you see listen. playing PSPs and... Yeah. And um, the DSs and shit all the time. Why not well, not fucking, all the time, but... If you enjoy your games, man, there's no better way than fucking... Nothing better than fucking rocking it while you're on public transport. That makes a train ride go quicker, doesn't it? Fucking oath it does. I'm always playing it. Always. So, nah, fuck them. If they want to be like that, fuck them. They shouldn't <laughs> even buy the fucking system itself. Do you reckon they should... Like, when you buy it, say, would, would you be too scared to play this in public? And if they say yes, say, well, you can't have one, can't you? Yeah, nah, mm-hmm. fuck off. If you're going to be whack, you can kiss me ass. <laughs> No, well, that's it. That's... I'm fucking... I'm playing a pink one. Fucking, I don't give a shit. That's just how I roll. You like playing with pink ones, though, don't you? Fucking oath, I do. I'm really good on pink ones. <laughs> really good. Do you remember... Um, no. Uh, all right, then. But when we were coming here, we are coming from my house. Yeah. And we're at the train station, and there was those kids... Oh. They were carrying on over the other side of the station. Those young cunts who thought they were fucking the shit, the gangsters. Uh, they were just being teenagers. They weren't fucking acting tough or anything. They were carrying on and all that. Yeah, they were carrying on a bit, but they weren't being... They were loud and shit. Yeah, but they weren't being aggressive or anything. No, 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 nothing like being that. Being tough. But then the the, um, the taxi rolls by and there's these, these other young cunts hanging out the window. They're screaming like... We're going to fucking get you. We've come back and fucking smash us. Yeah, we're going to fucking come back and get you later, cunts. <laughs> and then one of the other kids that was at the station yells out, nice car. Yeah, does it come <laughs> for men? Yeah. <laughs> but then funny. did those cunts on the other side of the station not quieten down? They did, didn't they? They quietened right down. They were intimidated by these other cunts. I don't reckon they were. I reckon they were. They were so quiet. They had nothing to be scared of. The cunts had already driven off. And that was the... the fake cop guys were there yeah the yellow jackets PSWs ones who go on trains so the guys yelling out of the cars are not the ones you have to worry about it's the ones that stop and get out yeah but they these young cunts could fucking they were all thought they were mad you know they're not mad they just thought they were mad and some other cunts are mouthed off at them and let's put them in their place and then when we got back yeah I fucking took my coat off Fucking throw it on the floor, whatever. You picked it up. Yeah. Fuck, go to hang it on your on your coat hanger. Yeah. <laughs> coat hanger hook thing. My my, my <laughs> clothes the, hook on my door. On the back of the front door, and it fell off. 
<laughs> my coats are still on the floor. <laughs> yeah, the clothes are still... I've tried to fix it, but I can't... you tried to fix it for like half an hour and you couldn't fix it. No, and then I just... I'll go back and do it later, but... Yeah. Uh, One great. jacket too many, I'm afraid, and <laughs> fucking fell off. But, oh well, yeah. I'll fix it. I'm a handyman. I know. I can break shit. Yeah, you're like an opposite handyman. Yeah, but yeah. I'll, I'll fix it, trust me. I'll even take a photo and put it on Facebook. Yeah, put it up so everyone can see if you yeah. fix it. <clears throat> Fucking oath. Do a before and after shot. Yep. Fucking oath I will. Now, <clears throat> as you may know, all, we're very big fans of the Wii U, are we not? Mm-hmm. We praise the console. We play the console. Mario fans. And, as you probably all know or may have heard on the grapevine out there, Apart from um, Raname, because he's whack. <laughs> but fucking um, Mario Maker Man coming out on the Wii U. Is it on the Wii U or DS? Wii U. Why did you hear it was on the DS? I thought it was on the DS. Well, I saw it at EB Games for the Wii U. Oh, ripper. But it looks pretty cool, man. Like, you're making Mario 1. You can do whatever you want, can't you? It's, a, it's yeah, it's a, like a kind of like a level editor to make... um. Mario levels. Yeah, but what happens? Do you know much about it? I suppose you just put the blocks and the coins and... But is it a blank thing straight away? I suppose so. And then you just put whatever you want wherever you want? Yeah, put your pits in and, you know, in the your coin boxes. And what about you? One-ups and stuff. Yeah, you could put one-ups like fucking everywhere and mm. stars and fucking everything, couldn't you? And, and, and you put your Coopers and... Blacker twos and shit in. Yeah, you could put Bowser's everywhere, man. Just in the middle of the fucking level. And what about your pipes? You'd have to be able to pick pipes to go underground, wouldn't you? Yeah, I suppose so. And then... And what about warp zones? You probably can pick warp zones. Well, I haven't haven't seen anything about it yet, so it's all speculation, but is it just, like, making levels, or can you make a full game? I don't know. I'm getting excited, and I'm hoping you knew more about it. So at least I could fucking know about it. But it looks exciting. Like, it looks pretty cool. They add at the shop and shit mm. at EP Games. Like, it looks like it'd be pretty fun and shit, like building the shit and all that kind of stuff. But And it'd be easy to, to like, place your shit down with the touchscreen if you pick your block and then yeah. if there's, like, a grid. Because it's all, like, Mario's all a grid. Like, yeah. And you can just put your, you pick your block off, a, like, a menu, pop-up menu comes out. and you Yeah pick where you want to put stuff and how big you want the, the gaps and like for the pits and stuff and fuck yeah and then people can make their own levels and stuff and <clears throat> even like if you like you want to just copy like a Mario level yeah I wonder if that'd be an option what that you can just pick the previous level that of the original game or something you know there might be like a, a template like Mario levels in there and then just add extra shit in there that'd yeah. be cool just add fucking you could make it harder and stuff yeah or easier or but if you like if you made one from scratch like you'd find out pretty quick how fucking how good like the level design is on the like Super Mario Brothers like yeah it's fucking amazing like how that game was made like the the maths that would have gone into that yeah like, and it's pretty what, smart isn't it yeah especially as it's made that you can most of it's made you can walk through it and also you can run through it. Yeah, if you know exactly. Yeah, if you know where to run in that, jump and shit. That's for sure. But fuck, it looks pretty cool, man. Like, you know what I'd do? If what? it has the templates of the original game, <clears throat> all I would do is on fucking 8 4, when you come out from swimming up the pipe and there's that fucking hammer brother, mm. I'd put a fucking star there or something. I hate that hammer brother cunt. Fucking, he's fucked me up so many times. It's like the hardest bit. Yeah. The timing on that's fucked. Like it, it's almost like like you just have to kind of guess. Yeah. You just have to get lucky. That's it. Or like have shooting at that point where you just fucking shoot the cunt and then you just run up, you know. And then But that's, all that flame <clears> comes <throat> up and that that's not bad. But Bowser's easy as fuck mm. compared to that hammer brother just fucking before the jump there but that's all I'd change if you could I'd just fucking make it easier yeah (laughs) yeah 
Because you go to all that trouble to fucking get up to 8-4, you know, fucking saving your shit, and then... Then you die at that bit, and then especially when you're on one, like, that's your last life, and then you have to start the whole thing again. Yeah, or you just... But that game, as you've said heaps of times, Eddie, when we are playing it, that game, you play, you play your first life, and you go to wherever you get to and all that, but when you lose your first life, you lose your momentum, don't you? Yeah, it's all about it's all about moving forward, like, momentum. Like, yeah, once it's lost, yeah, the most times you're just going to keep dying and dying and dying. It's made to, to be beaten on one life. It's fucking, it's amazing, man, isn't it? Fair income. Mm. Well, very well, mate. Probably, like, for its time, like, man. Still one yeah. of the best design games ever. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's right. And it was made, what, in the fucking early 80s, man? Yeah, like, fuck, when would it have been, like, 83? It would have been before that. There would have been, because that's when I think it came out in Japan, like, 83. Shit. So we were, like, six. Yeah, so they would have been making it in, like... That's 30 years ago. Yeah. It dropped. Fuck, man. That's amazing, isn't it? Mm. And still, we get enjoyment from it. But, yeah, looking forward to it. Still, it adds a game to the Wii U collection as well. And it'll have, like, online and you can upload your level and you can play everyone else's. And Yeah, wouldn't that be rad? Well, that's what it'll be. Yeah. You have to put that in. Too. Fuck, yeah. And people will vote on which ones are good and then you can see which ones are the best and have a go at it and... Yeah, how fun will that be? It's just like unlimited Mario levels. Oh, and they're all different, so you don't know what to expect. That'd be so fun. Yeah. Oh, That's man. That's cool. That's rad as fuck. We'll be getting it, man, definitely. It, it'd have to have, like, all the, the Mario 3 shit in there as well, like all the different power-ups. Yeah. That'd be cool. Putting, like, Mario 2 characters in Mario 1 and shit, you know? That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be a fun, like, experiment. If you if it's got, like, Mario 2 and someone built, like, like, say, a Mario, a level from Mario, um, like, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. And then you put Princess from number two in there. Yeah. And she can float. You see how different the... Yeah. Like, all the timing would be all different because all your jumps are... Everything's designed for Mario. Yeah. In the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could do all types of cool shit with it. Oh, it sounds really fun. It's pretty clever, isn't it? I had something to say and I forgot, but mustn't have been too important. I reckon it was like super important. Oh god, I forgot. Sorry. It would have been good though. Mm. But With all the other gems you've been coming up with. Yeah, like, oh, I fucking rock the shit out. like a fucking Dumb gangster. Cunt. Jeez, you're a fucking oh, come off rag on cunts all the time. Only shit ones like you. Yeah, Ranime. Know. Yeah, well, Ranime is worse than me. Oh, it's close. Oh, I'll get fucked. It's close. It's just, it's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. What else? I don't know. Have you got a, got a gang to recommend? Yeah, actually the, I do. For the good listeners? Now that you asked that simple question, I do. Going back to the previous question that... Gundam Russ had asked us about the game that you'd like the series to come back and shit. Marvel Alliance, I highly recommend one and two. Wow. You're getting a double recommendation there. Fuck, eh? But fucking a raddest game, man. I fucking love it. I'm going to play it again. That's got me wanting to play it again. Yeah, we should play it because I never finished it. I got up to like Asgard on the first one and then got bored. Oh, your shit. But it's better to play with a mate too. Yeah. Than just by yourself. It's heaps more better. And I go Wolverine all the time because the cunt's life comes back and I don't die. <laughs> I don't care who anyone else goes, but I'm Wolverine. If you ever want to play it with me, I I'll, bags Wolverine. I'll go the ever loving blue eyed thing. Who's that? Ben Grimm, the thing. Oh, the thing. Ah, you're going to go to the thing. Mm hmm. What thing? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, I recommend that and highly recommend it that you all check it out, please. And Ed, what do you recommend? <clears throat> well, there's a game we've talked about before on the podcast and on, okay, yes. I think on maybe on episodes is that fucking... Um, what is it? Willow on the Nest because it was down ah. at the, the shop for ages. And it was like 30 bucks. Yeah, it was on the Nest carts. Yeah, and we 
we wanted it, but we're not paying 30 bucks. Nah, no way. Even with my own fucking haircuts, I still <laughs> don't pay that. Can't save up that much. Nah, but carry on. Yeah, it's up. I thought I'd give it a go on the ROM. And you did? Yeah, and it's pretty fucking good. It's Look. like an RPG. It's role-playing game? Yeah. For gun- for um, Raname there? He wouldn't know that. No, because he's a dumb cunt. Oh, he's a cunt with a red Akadakatadens on. On the telly. Yeah. But yeah, no, that is a good game. Tell him about it, Ed. But it's just a, like a role-playing game. It's, it's Willow. Yeah. It's set in Willow. Yeah. I don't know if it was... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the guy's got a stiffy on the telly. Yeah, fuck it's a T and his mouth fucking trolling. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um kinda of feels like it's a reskin of some like a Japanese game, they just turned it into Willow, but But do you enjoy the game? Yeah, it's kinda of fun. Well I wanna I'm gonna play it again and get a bit further into it. I didn't um write down my um Code save code, yeah. Oh, you silly! And you have to you have to die to get your um codes. Code, yeah. Oh Jesus! But I was leveling up, like I'd go fight some monsters and get damaged a bit, and then go back to town and get healed, and it's just like very slowly working my way through the map. But mm-hmm. it's pretty good. Wouldn't mind getting it. Well, there you go. But not for. Thirty dollars. Yeah. We won't have to pay thirty dollars because we'll find a bargain one one day. Oh, yeah, that's all. Right. That's that's how we roll. And that's it. Oh, we were gonna do a, a fart for Alyssa White's birthday, but yeah, Gav's got none brewing today. Apologies, Alyssa. It's like fucking dearest. first time in his life that he can't fart on command. But the the thought was there, darling, and yeah. um, yeah, well. So just imagine Gab did a big fart for your birthday. Yeah, 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 you would love that. It just shows our support towards you on a special day. And, you know, turning 72 is not fucking easy to oh. do, you know. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it? You said she was turning 72. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> bastard. <laughs> fucking moist bitch you are. Oh, Gab. <laughs> <laughs> see your joke's working now I've brought it back yeah, it's a, for you alright that's alright okay, got it on the call back yeah so apologies about that Alyssa um, I won't forget alright we gotta go bye peace out later <coughs> nice sound check 12 14 21 say something funny so I can put it at the end um Funnier. <laughs> Fuckly fine, eh? Yeah. I'm not funny. It's true. Wait.